Anthony Bird, 232, uh, right heading 235, and report localizer established runway 27, Anthony Bird, uh, 232. Hello everybody and welcome again to another video today. We will be doing more CRJ tutorials here and we will be looking at the fuel planning with this aircraft. So without further ado, let's get started. So if we open the Airsoft CRJ manager, you will be prompted by this window. Make sure it says here running for your flight simulator at your choice and pick whatever preset for the fuel load you want you could adjust it as you would like so we'll go full passengers today so 1000 on the forward cargo and 1089 on the aft for the flight um, section in here we can go ahead and look for I'm gonna link couple of website that you can use for actually getting the flight distance for the people who's using PFPX it's going to be easier since uh, Airsoft had included the CRJ performance files so you are ready to go there so for the people who don't have PFPX please follow these websites so you can use this uh, website here or sky vector will be more than enough uh, you can go ahead and we are today at Amsterdam so we can go ahead and do echo hotel alpha mic and EGL for the Heathrow there and we'll see 200 miles out we can go in here to this website for example go echo hotel alpha mic echo golf lima lima hit the search and we will be prompted by a lot of fruit so this one here is the most preferable because it's been downloaded more than 200 times so this is at 204 miles out so we can do that so 204 we can come back in here to use any flight trackers website. I'm using FlyAware here and do your destination and arrival airport and have the one of the flights to show you exactly what flight level you will be using. So we're using 24,000 today. So 240, ISA deviation and headwind don't actually affect our fuel by much so we don't have to do anything with those numbers here I'll turn at distance once we're doing the flight uh, planning usually your flight uh, your alternate should be way less than 80 to 85 nautical miles so we can do 50 for the sake of our flight today and we should be good alternate fly level is usually one for zero hit enter reserve fuel it's up to you to do either 30 minutes or 40 minutes or 45 minutes so we'll do 30 or 45 for the sake of our video today and this is what usually i use it's not actually the default you can put 30 and you will be good to go so our taxi fuel will be 300 pounds we should be consuming a little bit less than that especially if, if it was a short taxi way once we are done with that we can help calculate uh, that and this light here should be indicating an optimal amount of fuel as the block fuel required so once we go ahead and set fuel and payload in this simulator there so we have done that if we go to the Dave in here payload any fuel we will see our numbers already there so if we go ahead and start our initialization kind of there Foxtrot 9 is our gate. Flight plan will be Echo Hotel Alpha Mike. 
Vi kan gå och fly med Lima. And our runway today will be zero niner. And hit execute performance initialization. We can then go to the Dave here. Copy data to performance initialization page. And we have the SA240 our cruising altitude. 140 alternate cruise altitude and execute so with that being done I hope you guys actually found this video helpful and it clarifies some uh, questions that you already asked me about in the email I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like and subscribe button and hope to see you in the next video take care guys